the cosmic drama surrounding NASA's Starline. Strap in because it's a wild ride. So picture this, NASA, ULA, and Boeing. Big names, big promises, but when it comes to Starliner, it's been more like a cosmic roller coaster. Despite all the flashy ads and bold boasts, the scheduled launch earlier this month hit yet another snag. And let me tell you folks, it's a doozy. Now, I'm not one to throw shade, but this latest delay, totally unacceptable. I mean, seriously, were there warning signs flashing like neon lights? And did NASA and Boeing just conveniently overlook them? Let's unravel this space mystery together. It all started with a faulty valve on the Atlas V rocket. You'd think that would be enough to throw a wrench in the works, right? But no, the cosmic drama was just getting started. Fast forward to May 17th, the supposed launch date, except it wasn't. Teams detected a tiny helium leak in the Starliner service module, and boom, there goes the launch plan, delayed by another four days. This delay isn't just your run-of-the-mill setback. We're talking years behind schedule and over-budgeted by a jaw-dropping $1.4 billion. Yeah, you heard that right. It's enough to make any space enthusiast's heart skip a beat. While Starliner is stuck in the space-time continuum, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft is soaring to new heights. And guess what? NASA finally woke up and smelled the rocket fuel. They realized that Dragon wasn't just good, it's a thousand times better. Dragon's been acing its missions left, right and center, making Starliner's delays look like mere shooting stars in comparison. With reliability, efficiency, and innovation that's out of this world, Dragon is leading the space race like a true cosmic champion. While Starliner is spinning its wheels, why not hitch a ride on Dragon's sleek spacecraft? It's like trading in your old jalopy for a warp speed starship. NASA and its partners need to rethink their cosmic strategy and shoot for the stars with a spacecraft that's light years ahead. Aside from the pesky valve issue on the Atlas V rocket, engineers discovered another headache, a helium leak in Starliner's propellant pressurization system. Now, at first, they thought it was no biggie, still within safety limits and all that jazz. But after rolling back the Atlas V and Starliner for some oxygen and valve replacement fun, managers decided to dig deeper into the helium situation. Turns out the leak was chilling in the distribution manifold, cozying up within one of the four doghouse assemblies situated around the outer surface of the Starliner's drum-shaped service module. Picture this. Each assembly packs a punch with four orbital maneuvering and attitude control thrusters, plus four small reaction control system maneuvering jets. It's like the Swiss army knife of spacecraft modules. Pressurized helium gas is supposed to play nice and push propellant to the rocket motors in each doghouse. However, this newfound helium leak, it's like a leaky faucet in space terms. And guess where it's coming from? A flange on a single reaction control system. Talk about a tiny hiccup causing a cosmic-sized headache. After the thrusters in the Starliner service module got a good old torque job, engineers are feeling cautiously optimistic. But you know those managers, always wanting to double check. They decided to give the helium lines throughout the spacecraft a good pressurization test to make sure everything's shipshape. NASA and Boeing are pulling out all the stops, developing spacecraft testing and operational solutions to tackle this pesky issue. In the words of Boeing, they're not leaving any rocket unturned. As part of the testing, they're bringing the propulsion system up to flight pressurization, just like they do before launch. Then they're letting the helium system vent naturally, all in the name of validating data and strengthening their rationale. Now. It's like troubleshooting in zero gravity. But let's talk about patience. NASA, Boeing, and ULA deserve a gold star in that department. This isn't just another delay. It's another twist in the Starliner saga. And let's give credit where it's due. NASA and Boeing officials have been the picture of patience with this seemingly cursed spacecraft. Now here's where things get really cosmic. This isn't just any old flight for Starliner. Nope, it's Boeing's first manned mission. And for NASA, it's the first time since the shuttle era that they're entrusting astronauts to a vehicle not named SpaceX. Talk about high stakes. This flight isn't just about reaching the ISS. It's about proving that Starliner has what it takes to soar among the stars. There's no room for error here. If Starliner stumbles, it's a long way down to the abyss. But fear not, fellow space enthusiasts. NASA and Boeing are doubling down on safety and reliability. They're leaving 
no stone unturned, no data unchecked. May 6th launch attempt while NASA and Boeing are singing the tune of smooth sailing. There are plenty of us out here feeling a little jittery. I mean, let's face it, when there have been as many hiccups as Starliner has seen, it's hard not to feel a twinge of anxiety. And here's the kicker. It's not just the mistakes that have us on edge. Take the valve issue and the potential helium leak, for example. Turns out, these troubles might not have been such a surprise after all. A former contractor, Valve Tech, had a bone to pick with Boeing's valve supplier, Aerojet Rocketdyne. Back on May 8, Valve Tech sounded the alarm bells, warning NASA to pump the brakes on Starliner's first crew launch on May 17th. Talk about a cosmic call to action. Well, according to Valve Tech's president, Aaron Fail, there's a risk of catastrophe lurking in the shadows. As experts in the field, they weren't about to sit back and watch potential disaster unfold on the launch pad. That buzzing sound you heard before the launch? Yeah, that's not just your run-of-the-mill annoyance. That could be a sign that the valve has seen better days. Enter Tori Bruno, CEO of ULA. He's not one to shy away from speaking his mind. And when it comes to Starliner safety, he's sounding the alarms loud and clear. Safety first, folks. That's the name of the game. NASA and Boeing can't afford to ignore these warnings. It's time to double down on safety checks and re-examine those protocols before launching Starliner back into the great beyond. While ULA may have brushed off Fav's comments, NASA and ULA were busy doing their own detective work. Turns out, there was some truth to Fav's word. After a thorough investigation, they discovered that the faulty valve was indeed causing some trouble. No leaks, but definitely not business as usual. NASA spilled the cosmic beans in a blog post, revealing that after analyzing the valve's history data signatures from the launch attempt, they decided it was time for a replacement. Mission managers nodded in agreement. Now here's where it gets even juicier. Remember when Vale mentioned those Starliner valves? Turns out he wasn't just blowing hot air. Valve Tech, along with Aerojet Rocketdyne, had a bit of a legal tussle back in 2017. Accusations were flying left and right, with Valve Tech claiming that Aerojet hadn't exactly played by the rules. According to Valve Tech, NASA, Boeing, and Aerojet had given the green light to this valve for Starliner without proper data or history. Sounds like a cosmic recipe for disaster, doesn't it? The tangled web of secrets and concerns continues to weave its cosmic tale. Despite Valve Tech's warning shot on May 8th, it seems NASA, Boeing, and ULA are still dead set on launching Starliner's CFT as early as May 17th. But here's the kicker. While they've swapped out the faulty valve on the Atlas V rocket, the truth has a funny way of surfacing, doesn't it? Enter the helium leak issue in Starliner's service module. Now, it might not be directly related to the valve, but it's a wake-up call for NASA, Boeing, and their trusty contractors, especially Aerojet Rocketdyne. Remember, Aerojet isn't just responsible for the valves, they're also the folks behind Starliner's propulsion engines. It's a reminder not to get too cocky too soon. After all, Overconfidence has a way of turning a smooth launch into a cosmic catastrophe. But let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Boeing. Oh, Boeing. There's a lesson to be learned here. Take a page out of SpaceX's playbook. They haven't had a dedicated team overseeing every little detail of their spacecraft's capsule. Flight software? Divided into two teams, ground system and launch vehicle. Sounds like a recipe for success, right? Well, not quite. While each team may have aced their individual tasks, the lack of cohesion led to a rocky road ahead. Just look at of one, it missed the mark big time. Take SpaceX, for example. Their vertical integration approach has revolutionized the game. Faster, cheaper, more efficient. Those are the cosmic buzzwords we're talking about. By handling the development and construction of their own technology in-house, they've cracked the code to success. Now let's flip the script and talk about collaboration. Picture this. You're a rocket engineer working on propulsion engines. You need load limit info from Boeing to design a utility connecting to the service module. Sounds simple, right? Wrong. This involves a tangled web of engineers, procurement officers, structural analysts, integrators, and suppliers, all from different companies. It's like herding cosmic cats. The process is streamlined, simplified, and owned by one engineer from start to finish. One engineer designs a part, writes a purchase order, and BAM! The shop gets to work making that part. It's a cosmic symphony of efficiency and ownership. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.